What's up, everybody? Today, this is a new thing for me. I uh, hope, you know, some of the newer people will come in, some of the card people, but I've been mentioning to do this for, meaning to do this for a while. This is a 1981 Fleer. This is a five, vending pack, 500 count VIN pack. Um, I used to collect cards and I'm uh, not really back into it, but uh, if I can make some money off of it, I will. And that's the whole point of my channel and doing this stuff. But, uh, yeah, this is, I got this and an 81 Tops and an 81 Don Russ. I think those are sets, but this is a Vend pack. And uh, I want to see if they're cherry picked. I only paid 50 bucks for all three of them. And I got it from an older gentleman, and I don't think that they're cherry picked, but who knows if they are and they aren't. But uh, I got some top loaders and sleeves ready. Because if we can find the, the big players out of this, these sets are the Tim Raines rookie, Harold Baines, Kirk Gibson, Fernando Valenzuela. Along with your normal Hall of Famers like um, George Brett, Nolan Ryan, you know, that kind of stuff. But that's what we're looking for, these. So let's just get to it. Hope there's some good stuff in here. I mean, they look super clean. Check that out. So, yeah, I mean, looks like up on the top here. And that's the case with these sometimes up on the top, the edge. Got a little wrinkled. The hard part is starting this stuff, so let's see if we can do this without pouring them all out, just to get some to start them with. <laughs> I stopped collecting cards a long time ago, but uh, yeah, there's if there's money to be made, I'm I'm going to definitely look into it. Like I said, this is not a factory set; this is a vend pack. So yeah, you can see like. The back card there's number 54 let's see the first one manny trio so the uh yeah see that's card number three baboon there's a mike schmidt that's our first good one there as you can see it's off center but it is super sharp corners and by behind him steve carlton looks like we have phillies in here first yeah Tug McGraw. So let's uh, I'm gonna set these ones I'm gonna sleeve just down here and I'll set the other ones over there. Tug McGraw, Tim McGraw's dad. Yeah, Phillies are up first, so Greg Luzinski. Now, if I if there's anything in here worth grading, uh, you guys let me know. I mean, I know for sure to do the rookies and the stars and stuff, but. If you think anything else is worth grading, I will be sending these to SGC. Ooh, Lonnie Smith, I really he was one of my favorite players when he was with the Braves later. Lonnie Smith is a really good ball player. Sparky Lyle, look at that stash. Gary Maddox, yeah, all the Phillies are in here first. George Vukovic. John Vukovic. <laughs> Wonder if they were brothers. Must be a setting on my GoPro that the screen goes to sleep. Tim McCarver, good announcer. Good catcher, too. Here's, look at that. George Brett. Oh, my goodness. It is off-center pretty big time. It looks like it's about 70, 30, 80, 20 off-center, but those corners are just super sharp. So we're going to set that down there to sleeve. Well, it looks like we're on to the Royals. Dan Quisenberry, the old... Submariner and side armor. Well, Washington, Dave Chats is pretty cool that they're broken up into teams. I mean, it doesn't look like it's picked, that's for sure. Well, it will be now. <laughs> Hal McCray, Brian McCray's dad. Dennis Leonard, Willie Aikens, Frank White, a really good player. Clint Hurdle, later, well, he's the manager of what, the Rockies or something later. John Wathen. This is a Jabs family's favorite player. <laughs> yeah, I watch all kinds of videos and stuff too, but always gotta get the John Wathen. Pete Lecoq. Jimmy Quirk. On to the Astros. Art Howe. Later a manager with the uh, the A's. I think he just passed away, didn't he? Or I can't remember, but I thought I saw something in the news about him. Ken Forsh. Burn Rule. Joe Negro, brother of Phil Negro, the old knuckleballers, he was caught 
in the playoffs with the Twins with an emery board in his back pocket. But knuckleballers used emery boards, but they thought he was scuffing the ball with it. But he got thrown out. I remember I was watching that live when that happened. Yeah, okay, sorry about that splice. Uh, I was a dummy and didn't check if my SD card was empty, and it got full real quick. So we were at the Joe Necro. I was talking about him and the Twins and all that stuff. And we're just going to keep on moving here on the VIN pack. Oh, and there was a Phillies that fell in. It's a good Phillies, too, at the top. I missed a card. It was a Pete Rose. But look at the corner, because it was the first card. Look at the... Just wrecked. So definitely not worth uh, grading. That's too bad. I'll set it to... I'll make it a second pile, because I'm not going to grade that, but I'll put it in the sleeve. You know, Larry Bow was there as well from the Phillies, and we'll put him in the regular pack. Then we're back to the Astros. Frank LaCourt. J.R. Richard. Good player. There's, the, there's a doozy. Oh man, that looks really good. The centering. I mean, it, it's probably 60 40. The Nolan Ryan. The Ryan Express. The corners look great. I'm going to set that down in my to sleeve and top load pile. Enos Skebel. Cesar Cedeno. Jose Cruz. I don't know how those Astros teams didn't win more because, man, they were kind of loaded up, especially when they got had both Nolan Ryan and Mike Scott later on. Terry Poole. Joaquin Andujar. Alan Ashby. I mean, these teams were loaded. Denny Walling. Jeff Leonard. Luis Pujols. Probably no relation to Albert Pujols. Bruce Bochy, who's later the manager of the Giants and Padres too, right? Giants and Padres. Dave Smith, Danny Heap, Julio Gonzalez, Craig Reynolds, Gary Woods, Joe Morgan. I think he's a Hall of Famer. We'll see him in the, the sleeve pile. Corner is dinged on Joe Morgan. So he probably won't be graded, but ooh, and check that out. But centering on these is just awful. Reggie Jackson. This centering is like 90-10. I mean it is bad. The corners are super sharp though. Sheesh, that's unfortunate. Bucky Dent, big home run against the Red Sox. Tommy John. He's famous. He was a great pitcher, but famous for his surgery. He's the first one to have the Tommy John surgery. Louis Tion, Rick Saroon, Dick Hauser, he later was the manager of the Royals as well, I think. Lou Pinella, Crazy Lou, Ron Davis, Greg, not, don't call me Craig, Nettles, Ron Guidry, Goose Gossage, I think he's a Hall of Famer think. I don't know all. I mean, I try to keep up with it, but it's so hard. <laughs> Alright. Keep on going. Got another stack. Rudy May. Gaylord Perry. Rick Sauterheim. Bob Watson. Bobby Mercer. Bobby Brown. Jim Spencer. Tom Underwood. Oscar Gamble. Rolling through here. I heard my ring doorbell go off, but I'm busy. And <laughs> there it goes on my watch. Ring. Willie Randolph. Steve Hope. Oh, we're on to the Dodgers. Steve Garvey. Was Steve Garvey a Hall of Famer? I can't remember. Really like the stats on these. They put all the stats. See Steve Garvey there at this point, 185 home runs, 842 RBIs, 304 batting average. And we'll put him in there to sleeve. I'm not sure. Reggie Smith, Don Sutton, Hall of Famer. Centering on him is pretty good. It's probably 55 45. I'm in the Hall of Fame pile. Burt Hooten, Davey Lopes, he's a real good player. Second baseman. Dusty Baker went on to he's the manager of the Astros now. He's been a manager for a long time in the big leagues. Centering on him is pretty bad too. Tom Lasorda. 
Centering again is bad, and this edge cut is really bad. If you guys can see that. Bill Russell, Jerry Royce. Rick Sutcliffe went on to uh, win a Cy Young with the Cubs. Ron Say. Like I said, I'm so out of the card collecting and stuff. If I should send something at the end of grade that I passed up on, just let me know in the comments. Because I'm not claiming to be an expert on this stuff at all. I just kind of keep up with it, kind of watch some videos. You know, like Elite Go and Jab's Family and Phil's Pools and stuff. And yeah, I'm no, no way, no how an expert in, anymore. Maybe the late 80s I was an expert on the, all the junk wax, but when I was a teenager. There's the Fernando, Fernand Valenzuela, not Fernando, Fernand. It's in really good condition. Centering is off, of course, like most of these. It's like it's got a little ink imperfection. What can you say? That's a rookie Fernando. Manny Moda and Gary Carter, Hall of Famer. Is that like his third or fourth, fifth seer card, something? He is a Hall of Famer though, so I'm going to put him in the pile. He passed away, unfortunately. Andre Dawson. I think he got into the Hall of Fame, didn't he? His, his is actually centered pretty well. His rookie year was like 76 or 77. Larry Parrish. through here. Ken Maka. Didn't he become a coach or a manager or something? Jim Palmer, Hall of Famer. The Orioles. Really good condition, but centering of course is way off. Cracker. Tippy Martinez and Dennis Martinez. Denny Martinez was a really good pitcher and I can't remember if he made the Hall of Fame or not. Man, he was good. There's Eddie Murray. We know he's a Hall of Famer. He has that edge problem just like Tommy Lasorda had. The rough cut edge. The searing of course is off. He is a Hall of Famer though. That's funny. Golden Glove, Doug DeCensis. Johnny Bench, Hall of Famer. Centering on that one's really good. Yeah, that's a really nice card. That is in really, really good condition. Dave Concepcion, Ray Knight, a bunch of good players on the Reds. King Griffey Sr., Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer. And of course, the centering is all wackadoodle. He is a Hall of Famer, though. Dave Collins, George Foster, another really good player. Charlie Lee Brandt. George Foster. Is that his, that's the second time we've seen George Foster. Well, that's weird. Because we saw him back. Yeah, right there. Oh, that's why it's a different cards. Look, it says Slugger on this card. And this is his base card, it just says outfield. Wow, that's that's unique. I didn't I was too young to be buying any of the eighty one. There's Yaz, Hall of Famer. 
good condition. Off center, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I was too young. I was only five when these came out. And I didn't start collecting until like 86 when everything got real junky, of course. Man, what a good product. What a really cool product. Jim Rice, Hall of Famer. Fred Lynn. I can't remember if Fred Lynn's a Hall of Famer or not. Really good player. Carlton Fisk, I know for sure, is a Hall of Famer. Eck, Dennis Eckersley, Hall of Famer. He did, did most of his damage with the A's. And this is, yeah, he had been in the league since 75. Don Zimmer. Long time coach. Dwight Evans, good player. Tony Perez. Phil Negro, the old knuckleballer. I think he's a Hall of Famer, isn't he? Because he won 300 games, I think. There's one of my favorite players of all time. Dale Murphy, he is not a Hall of Famer. But I am going to sleeve him just because he's one of my favorite players. Really good card, too. Bob Horner, the old chubby Bob. I remember him playing for the Cubs and the Cardinals as well. The Cubs, I saw him. I was watching the Cubs play a game in Wrigley back when they only played during the daytime and he had four home runs. Jeff Burrows, Rick Camp, Bobby Cox. He's going to be a Hall of Famer if he isn't already as a manager. That big run. He was with the Braves in the early 80s and that run through the 90s. Bruce Benedict, Gene Garber, Jerry Royster, Chris Chambliss. He had a run with the Yankees and the Braves. Glenn, Glenn Mother Hubbard. Remember, uh, what's his name? Chris Berman. Come up with nicknames for everyone. Glenn Mother Hubbard. Al Herboski, the mad Hungarian. He was awesome. Not a Hall of Fame or anything, but really entertaining. Rafael Ramirez, look at the look on his face. That is hilarious. Way to go, Raphael. He was awesome. He was a really good shortstop. Rod Carew, Hall of Famer. Man, that's, in, that's again with that rough edge. Other than that, it's in really good shape, but it has a rough edge, rough cut. Carney Lansford. About halfway through. I have to edit this video some, unfortunately, because my the SD card got full and Don Baylor again and the uh, phone ringing. Campanaris, Dave LaRoach, and that Adam, Adam LaRoach's dad, Dave Kingman, he was kind of a home run hitter back then. Let me set those cards down. The Cubbies. Yeah. He hit 48 in 1979 with the Cubs. Bill Buckner, he passed away, I think. The Red Sox infamy. Great player, but yeah, had that one bad play. Cost the Red Sox a championship. Bruce Souter, he's a Hall of Famer. It's funny, he's a pitcher and he's holding a bat. Goofy look on his face. I will be submitting some of these cards to grade out of this this video series out of the Flitter, the Donners, and the Tops to SGC for grading. So like I said, if I'm missing anything in particular, please let me know. So like I said, uh, there's Mike Tyson. Knocked out by Buster Douglas. <laughs> Lee Mazzilli. Alright. Got a pretty good stack of Hall of Famers going down here. At the end of the video, I'll uh, sleeve these and top load them. And we'll look at them again. The only one so far that's definitely not being graded is the Pete Rose because it was the top card and it is wrecked. Steve Henderson. Joe Torre. Won all those championships with the Yankees as the manager. Claudel Washington. 
Jeff Reardon, he was a really good pitcher. Wally Backman, he was with the Angels later. Tony La Russa. Harold Baines, there's the Harold Baines rookie. Looks in really good shape too. I mean, centering is off as usual for this set. But man, those corners are sharp. Okay. Ricky. This will be his second year card. This is his most stolen bases in the AL card. We still have his base card to come up. Chet Lemon, a really good player. Not a Hall of Famer. Really good. Dave Parker, another home run hitter. Willie Stargell, a Hall of Famer. Man, that's in really good shape. Again, it seems like every time they are centered, the, the, le the left edge is rough. Seems like every single time. Phil Gardner, he was later a manager, I think. All right, Just a little bit more to go, and later on, I don't know if it'll be tomorrow, Chuck Tanner, he was manager with the Braves later, when they were really bad. Pretty soon I'll do the uh, Tops and the Donners as well, then we'll do a wrap-up video of me for submission to SGC. Burt Blightleven, he pitched for a long time in the... He should, probably should be in the Hall of Fame, and I don't know if he is or not. My man, he pitched for a long time. Run there with no real good players. <laughs> okay, we got this stack, and then one more after this. Bo Diaz, a really good catcher. The Indians. Bob Baylor, not Don Baylor, but Bob. Ernie Witt. Dave Steeb. <laughs> Danny Ainge. I wonder if that's worth getting graded, because, you know, obviously he was a better basketball player than he didn't stick with baseball. But this would have been his rookie card, I think. I'm going to set that one to the side, and you guys let me know if he's worth grading. I mean, he's off-center, of course, but his corners are sharp. You know, he had the pretty good run as a as a, as a uh, guard with the Celtics, and I think now he's in charge of the Celtics. But uh, I'm going to set that one to the side here, and we'll, we'll sleeve him up and stuff. And I forgot about Danny Ainge being in here. <laughs> Check out that name. Garth Arg. Alfredo Griffin, he's a pretty good player. Vita Blue, a really good pitcher. I don't, can't remember or not if he was Hall of Fame, but he was. He had a pretty good run. Jack Clark, Willie McCovey, Willie McCovey's a Hall of Famer. lower side there. I will look at all the ink up the side here. I'll still sleeve him and stuff, but I, that, I definitely would not grade. Check that out. The ink just streaked up the right side there. There are livings. What I should have done before I did this was make sure there was no like valuable error cards like there was a lot of times in these 80 set you know they would have error cards and correct them back then and uh, i don't know if there's anything in 81 fleer or not but uh yeah i'm sure you guys will let me know that's it An empty box last stack sparky manager sparky manager <laughs> sparky anderson <laughs> really good manager alan trammell mark fidrich 
Lou Whit Sweet Lou Whitaker. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame. Probably should be. Lance Parrish. Jack Morris. Man, he was a good pitcher. Can't remember if he's a Hall of Fame or not, but we probably wouldn't grade this one. Has some ink, like overblow on it. Kurt Gibson, that's a rookie. Yep. Well, it looks like it was his second year, but I'm pretty sure that's his rookie card. And really off center, of course. Dave Winfield, Hall of Famer. You know, he was drafted in four, all four major professional sports baseball, football, basketball. Well, maybe all three. Thought he also played something else, but. Heck of an athlete, Hall of Famer, Raleigh Fingers. Ozzy, Ozzy Smith, uh, third year, third card. His rookie was 79, 80, 81 would have been his third year before he went to the Cardinals later on. And it's got some condition issues, some edge chipping, just like a lot of these do. That is it. So not bad. Not a bad haul here. I'm going to get my penny sleeves here and pull out a stack of them. Yeah, the Danny Ainge, I don't know, but we're going to put him in a penny sleeve anyway. Seriously, I haven't done this in a long time. You can probably tell. There we go. There we go. Okay. I don't know what's the best condition card we got because most of them are off center. I mean, sharp corners, but they had some edge issues and off center. But maybe that's a known issue and they take that into account while grading them. That's something I'll have to learn, right? Raleigh. Like I said, some of these, I don't know if they're worth grading or not. But uh, we'll find out. Always, especially, you know, back in the day, we would just shove them in the sleeves and everything. But now I'm paranoid because any nick can affect its grading from what I've seen. Got the Dave Winfield. I mean, the ones I know for sure I'm going to submit for grading, I'm going to, uh, top, I'm going to uh, top load as well. I don't know, this Winfield has a really rough edge. I don't know if the Raleigh is worth it or the Aussie is worth it or not. Anyway, let's just sleeve them for now and we'll top load them based on you guys' advice. We'll definitely do the rookies like, well, Kirk Gibson, like I said, he's really off-centered, but maybe they take that into account. shop for a while about 10 years ago but I basically just sold new product and uh, didn't really do much with vintage or older stuff then probably should have with the way the hobby is now but you know hindsight Kurt Gibson rookie really off center really nice though Willie McCovey I don't know when McCovey retired, but it probably wasn't too soon after this. Look at his uh, stats from 59 all the way through to 81. He was at 521 home runs. Willie Stargell. Helped the Pirates win the championship, what, in 79? As my dog snores away beside me. I guess Ricky did. This is Ricky's base card. I didn't see another Ricky in here. Really nice. 
nice though. I'm gonna pop it with that. In really good condition. A little off center. Back here doing this. Remember that trick from back in the day at least. And really nice. Harold Baines rookie. Even with the centering, I think this one will get submitted, maybe. If you guys say it's worth it. I mean, the centering, like I said, I don't know if it affects it that bad or not. Lots to learn. Lots and lots to learn. Yeah. Sleeves are tight. really good. The Bruce Suter. Okay, maybe Tim Raines wasn't in Fleer, but I know if, uh, Tim Raines had an 81 Donruss. And that Ron Crew is in really good shape, except for again that edge cut. Um, yeah, we didn't get a Tim Raines in this, so I guess Tim Raines didn't have an 81. Bill Murphy. I think he's the lone non-Hall of Famer rookie that I'm sleeving, but it's just because I think he deserves it. He's one of my favorite players growing up. Just like a lot of people watching on the Superstation TBS. But anyway, yeah, Tim Raines. We got the Baines, we got the Kirk Gibson, we got the Fernando Valenzuela, but no uh, Tim Raines. Of course, this is just a vending box. This isn't the whole set. Phil Necro. Yeah, 500 count vend pack. And I don't know how many cards there is in the whole set, but this is just 500 count, so maybe we just didn't get him. I have to check into that. Eckersley, Hall of Famer. Carlton Fisk. And the edge looks really good, except for the edge and centering. <laughs> That's what it is with all of them, edge and centering. Except for the Pete Rose is the corner. I'll go ahead and show you guys that again. He was the top first card in the box. Even Yeah, card number one. But he is absolutely wrecked. Just that corner, the edge is just wrecked. Still gonna throw him in a sleeve just because it's Pete Rose. But yeah, definitely not grading that. Unless you want to get a SGC2 and get a get a point for his name being right. Jim Rice. Yaz. Yaz's grandson's in the big leagues right now. Oh, need some more sleeves. Seaver. Oh, jeez. Okay, Johnny Bench. Man, that's in really good shape. I think we're going to grade that one. Because centering is even pretty good on that one. One of the few. I'm going to top load Johnny. Because it's in such good shape. Rookie was what 78? Yeah, 78, 77, 78. Hall of Famer, switch hitter, Jim Palmer. The Hawk. Andre Dawson.
Terry Carter, really off center. Extremely off center. And for another of the rookies, Fernando, off center too. Unfortunate because it's the corners are really, really good. Still going to sleeve the rookie. Fernand Valenzuela. Pre three eyelids. It did, did Fernando on the back, but Fernand on the front. Isn't that weird? Fernand. Fernando. Hmm. Have to look that up. Don Sutton. Became an announcer for the Braves for a long time. Him and uh, Chip Carey, Harry Carey's son, and the professor, uh, what was his name, jeez, Pete Van Weeren, Goose Gossage, Hall of Famer, Reggie Jackson, man, that's too bad it's so off-center, it is like majorly off-center, that one's probably the worst one off-center, it's probably 90-10, Unfortunate. Oh, we got about four more cards here. Joe Morgan. And it's like the printer was running out of ink on that one. Oh yeah, this is a good one. Nolan Ryan. It's pretty good shape. It has that ink spot, but the quality of printing wasn't necessarily the best. This was the first year for Fleer. You know, they did have that 63 set, but, you know, from 63 to 81. I'm going to sleeve up Nolan here, because, man, it's in good shape. Probably going to get crated, even with the ink spot. See that ink? Watch. Three more. One, two, three. George Brett. His work here was what, like 73, 74? Yeah, 70, 73. MVP. Pretty off center. I'm going to sleeve him. I'm going to top load him. NL MVP. George Brett was the AL MVP. Mike Schmidt was the NL MVP. Pretty good card. And Steve Carlton, last but not least. Pitcher of the Year. Okay, so we... I top loaded two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Some rookies, and then Ricky Henderson, Harold Baines, Bench. Yeah. And I got sleeved another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty six. Wow. A lot more Hall of Famers than I remember. I think the only one that wasn't a Hall of Famer or a rookie was Dale Murphy. So yeah, so let let me go, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what I should get graded? What like I said, these are I'm doing the Fleer, I'm doing the Donners and the Tops, and we're going to do a big submission to SGC to get graded. Yeah, and see where we're at. So that's it, guys. Please comment, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys on the next video.